The pandemic likely played a role in a sizable retreat in San Francisco's rental market. About one in 13 tenants has broken a lease in the past three months. KPX5 reporter Kenny Choi joins us now live with some tips for renters looking to renegotiate. All right, Kenny, what can you tell us? Well, Veronica, San Francisco is still the most expensive city in the country to rent an apartment. We're in the Pacific Heights neighborhood in the city, but new numbers show that there's been an exodus of residents who now have better options. Pay the expensive rent or move out. People, number one, are uh, leaving, kind of just ditching their, their apartments and leaving kind of their roommates hanging, or they're trying their best to find someone to sublease their their rooms or they're just leaving San Francisco altogether and moving back home. Anthony Natoli decided to move back to New Jersey after paying more than $4,000 a month for his apartment in Powell Hollow, working in tech sales. All of the normal things that we see as driving demand for rental housing in San Francisco have pretty much dried up. In June, rent prices year over year dropping more than 9% in San Francisco. Mountain View more than 15, Cupertino down 14%. We're getting a lot of people moving to Southern California, moving out to the Central Valley, moving up to, um, you know, around the Sacramento area, Tahoe. I mean, we're, you know, Sonoma County, that, you know, a lot of different places. So it's definitely been a trend that's been going on. Landlords want a commitment that they're not going to have a vacancy at this time when we're looking at such, you know, incredible supply, uh, lots of units opening up and no demand to fill it. A new survey from the San Francisco Apartment Association shows more than 7% of renters simply broke their leases over the last three months. But there's a way to get free money if you approach it correctly. You'll get farther by uh, recognizing that landlords want that base rent to be kept, you know, basically where it's at. Some 2.7 million adults in the country moved in with their parents in March and April. That's a trend that could lead to more than 700 million in lost rent for landlords this year. Ask for a free month's rent, sign a new one year lease, and the effective rent goes down for 13 months essentially. And one important thing to note is that these leases are legally binding contracts. So if it is broken, the landlords can go after the tenants financially. As for the most affordable places to live in the Bay Area. According to Zillow, those cities in the Bay Area are now Vallejo and Concord, with rents going from about $1,450 to $1,750 for a one-bedroom apartment. We're live in San Francisco. Kenny Choi, KPIX All right, so Kenny, 5. what's the best advice here on, uh, sorry about that, Kenny, what's the best advice on what not to do then if you do want to renegotiate a lease? Well, we talked to uh, property managers today, and they said that they heard from some tenants asking for a rent decrease of 20% to 30%. That's a non-starter because the rents haven't decreased by that amount. They say ask for something reasonable, a couple months, months of rent for free uh, in, ex in exchange for a commitment of an extra year-long extension to that lease. Veronica? Got it. All right, Kenny Choi, we appreciate it. Thank you.